Hello, I'm John Sudol and welcome to my studio, John Sudol Acting Studio Center for the Language of the Face, Emotional Expressiveness for Actors. And today I'm going to talk about the four things you must do if you want to nail that reaction shot and book the job. First of all, let me say that most people, uh, casting included, think that if you're a skilled actor, you should be able to come up with the appropriate reaction. Problem that is not exactly true. In fact, you notice every day that you'll see in a breakdown somewhere, casting is writing, looking for skilled actors must be good with emotional facial expressions or reactions. Now, when I was in casting, I also noticed that one of the hardest things for most actors to do was to come in, there's an X, and give me an appropriate reaction to that. What's even harder would be a series of reactions. So, as I looked at these actors over the, over the years, I noticed that the same actors were coming back, and the same actor was actually booking the job. And I studied these, all these actors who were doing that, and I noticed that they all did four things. I'm going to share those four things that you must do if you want to nail the reaction shot. First, it must be recognizable. Your reaction must be recognizable. The face has over 140,000 different uh, movements and expressions that you can come up with and have fun with. Majority mean absolutely nothing. But what's on your face must be recognizable. Now, what I've learned over the years is that every recognizable reaction would be part of the seven universal emotions or a blend of those seven. Number two, it must be appropriate and you must have the ability to adjust it either bigger or smaller. Now I see many actors who stumble upon the correct reaction but when they're given the adjustment to make it a little bit smaller or make it a little bit bigger they're unable to do that. So your ability to be appropriate and your ability to uh, adjust the reaction is a must. Number three, moving from one reaction to the next like you're moving from one thought about something to the next. So if you have many inappropriate thoughts about what's going on or they're not fully developed thoughts, they register on your face. It becomes too busy, too big. So in order to nail that reaction, you must have one clear, appropriate, recognizable reaction at a time. Number four, which I think is the most important of them all, is that you must have the ability to repeat what you just did. So the actor who, does, who lacks this ability may stumble upon the reaction, but when asked to repeat it or add something to it, they tend to lose the reaction. Or even if you book the job, you may lose the job. So to sum this whole thing up, these four must. One, it must be recognizable. Two, it must be appropriate. Three, you must move from one clear, appropriate thought or reaction to the next and four, you must have the skill to repeat it. What's really exciting about this work is that there is only a small portion of the actors who really have the ability to come up with an appropriate reaction on demand. So if you learn the language the face speaks, you will have the skill to interpret any direction, copy, or size and come up with a correct, real, appropriate reaction on demand each and every time. So if you want to learn more about Nailing the Reaction Shot or any of the other Language of the Face classes, go to my website, www.languageoftheface.com or go to my blog, languageoftheface at blogspot.com or hit us with an email at info at nailthatreactionshot.com So until then, uh, I hope this helps. I'd like to hear from you. Any feedback, let me know what you think. And hopefully I'll see you at one of our next free seminars. Thanks.